Okay, I hope everybody can hear me. So this activity I want you to do today, so the activity is under here and you should have got to get a copy. You got a copy the other day, or if not, the teacher should have a few extras. So the activity should look like this here. And what we're going to do, we'll fill this in tomorrow, but we're going to fill in all the numbers down here here and here. We're going to graph and then do these two tables. And then later, you guys can do these. Uh, if you look on the other one, I've actually done it in another lesson, and I'll use this. So I've actually done it in this lesson, and we'll actually use it. Okay, so I've got the two opened up here. I got this one. Oops, I guess it didn't open. I got it over on the other page, but it's not opening up. Maybe it'll open up in a second. Okay, let's start off here. We're going to enter our data right here. Up here, we're going to enter all the values. So we're going, we're going to hopefully open this up. I'm still thinking. We're going to enter the data right in here. So I'm going to open up a second version right here, and we're going to enter three, five, seven, ten, and these marks. So let's put it in. It's fifty-five, sixty-five. So we're going to put fifty-five here. Sixty, sixty-five, seventy. 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. Okay, underneath we're going to do the F colon. So F colon. We'll put a space here and we'll get the other values. Whoops. Okay, go over here and we get the other values 3, 5, 7, 10, 11. So 3, 5, 7, 10, 11. And then it goes back to 10. Seven, five, and three. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we calculate. Okay, shows us shows our mean. So we write the mean in the correct place. So we go over here. Uh, I've done it in the other one, so I'll, I'll show you. We go over here because and we write our mean here on the sheet, and then we write our median mode. So that's 75, 75, 90 minus. Uh, so this one's the wrong one. So 75, 75, 95 minus 55 to get that. You can get our standard deviation over here. So our standard deviation is 10.36. Our variance 107.3 or 107.4. You got your three quartiles here which you can write in and I'm sure you have your range down here and then you're going to do the same thing with the other data okay once you got that done okay once you do that you're going to graph so if you see if I can blow this up and I don't think I can and I can't go on the other one but you're going to go and graph the one graph and you can you can open this up and look at it yourself and you're going to graph the other graph the other table the second table and then you're going to say uh, which one is wider, okay? You can just answer that question. Then over here, what we're going to do is box and whiskers. So you got your numbers across here, and you're going to hopefully put a line with two arrows, use a ruler, and I can use the same scale for the two, even though there's a space, teacher A, teacher B, and I want you to use rulers there as opposed to what I've done. Okay, I would try to correct it here, but... Uh, it doesn't seem to be opening on my other sheet. But I think you get the general.